So, Steve wasn't sure what to do for his birthday this year, so I recommended something a little different. I hired a hypnotist to hypnotize us. My cousin said this guy is really great. He really works. I don't know, I, I don't really believe in those guys. Byron, honey, we all know that hypnotists don't work. We just fool them. In public, you're supposed to be supportive of their craft. Why don't you just like not hire them at all? Because it's fun, Byron. It's fun to act like you're talking to your celebrity crush. Or that napkins are dollar bills. All just to amuse a psychopath that believes he can tell people what to do by making them sleepy. It's a good deed, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, Greg the Great! Thank you, thank you very much. How is everybody today? I hear we have a birthday in the audience. Yes, yes Steve! Steve! So happy birthday well, to happy. Steve. Now, for my first act, I'm going to need one member from the audience to come up and volunteer. Yeah, I don't even know him. Yes, lovely oh, lady yes, in the pink. Chose me. Come on up. Hello. So, what is your name? I'm Lois, and you're going to do a great job at hypnotizing <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, I know I am. So, Lois, what I'm going to need you to do, I'm going to need you to just sit back, relax, and close your eyes. Also, focus on the sound of my voice. Focus hard. Focus so hard. You can do this. So, focus, focus. Now, I'm going to need you to picture a beautiful remote tropical beach. You're sitting on a beach chair, it's 75 degrees, sun is shining in the air, and the sand, oh, the sand, it's so soft, like your voluminous auburn hair. Now, picture how serene this environment is. All you can hear are the waves crashing on the sand. Remember the sand? I just said it. Now, I'm going to need you to picture what is on your right. It should be a figure. A figure? That's what I just said. Don't worry. He's, well, it's not going to hurt you. It's approaching you. It seems to be a shirtless fellow. Rippling six pack. Oh. But he's getting closer. You can make out his facial features. And wait a minute. What's that? It's Greg the Great. It's Greg the Great. He's approaching you and you can't take your eyes off of him. In fact, I think you're in love with him. <gasps> you are totally in love with him. Lois is in love with Greg the Great. Lois is in love with Greg the Great. Lois is in love with Greg the Great. Yes, yes. And now you're waking up. You're regaining energy. Open your eyes, regain consciousness. Beautiful. As Lois wakes up, you can see how awkward and conflicted she feels about this dilemma, this society, and situation has put upon her. Sure, she's dating Byron, but convincing a weirdo that he has powers takes importance over her relationship. Sorry. Well, ladies and gentlemen, lovers, lusters, I've done it again. Greg the Great has done it again. That's right. Greg, I am in love with you. Oh, ho, ho. best birthday ever. And, uh, Steve, happy birthday. Woo! Don't forget your parting gift. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Take it. I love Taylor. Woo! Worst birthday ever.